The LG G6 is almost upon us. LG's basically confirmed the next flagship will be arriving in February, and that almost certainly means Mobile World Congress in Barcelona at the end of the month, one of the biggest phone trade shows of the year. Now, LG really needs a hit after the uh, pretty dire 2016 it had. The LG G5 didn't really move the needle for them. Uh, the whole modular thing didn't particularly work. Uh, then you had the V20, which was a decent phone, but again, not a massive success and kind of got drowned out by all the iPhone and Pixel hype towards the end of the year. So for its next big thing, LG really does need a hit. And as usual, it's taken to leaking its own phone over several weeks in the run-up to the actual launch. So we do know a little bit about what'll actually be inside the G6. First up, we know the G6 will not be modular. That has completely gone away. No surprise, because the G5's modular stuff really wasn't that successful. It was actually kind of a disaster. Uh, LG's instead focusing on aesthetics, on having a phone that looks really, really good, instead of one that you can take apart and add new things to. So that's official from LG, we know that's happening, and it also kind of ties into what we've been seeing from some of these CAD leaks recently, um, sort of showing a very G5-like design, but one that's much more of a unibody kind of shape, uh, with some kind of shiny material on the back and a relatively plain front, um, USB Type-C down below, and the ever-popular headphone jack up top, so no need to worry about that dongle life. Something else we know from LG is that the display is going to be a big deal this time around as well. It's 5.7 inches, up from 5.3 in the G5, and at a new 18 by 9 aspect ratio, or 2 by 1 if you prefer. Already in its teaser video, we see LG talking about how the G6 is going to be a great one-handed phone, about how you have this big screen, this small body that you can still use one-handed. Most of the rest of what we know about the G6 comes from that same teaser video, so we know it's going to be waterproof, which is a big deal. That's basically table stakes now for anyone making a flagship phone, because Samsung and Apple, of course, offer that standard. Uh, if you're releasing a high-end, high-priced phone in 2017 without water resistance, then really, what are you doing? Cameras, we don't know a whole lot about that yet, but we do know from the CAD render that it's probably going to have two cameras. No surprise there after the G5 and the V20, but there is some vague reference in that teaser video to the G6 being able to capture it all at once. So who knows what's actually meant by that. Could mean something to do with dual capture simultaneously from both of those rear cameras. That would make sense. A lot of other companies doing that. Uh, and you can imagine all kinds of insane photography that you could be able to do with both a wide angle lens and a zoom lens at the same time. And something else that's pretty vague, the G6 will be reliable, whatever that means. So uh, in the teaser, we're looking at uh, someone talking about how they don't want to pay for screen replacements over again. Maybe LG's looking at some kind of HTC uh oh like replacement program. So you drop the phone, it smashes, you don't pay for that first screen replacement. Other possibilities, they're doing a Motorola, they're going with a shatter resistant screen, which could be quite interesting to see how they do that, especially with a screen that's meant to cover most of the body of this thing. Finally, we don't really know what LG's doing with batteries this year. They've been all over the map in terms of battery life the past couple of years. Uh, you would hope for at least a decent size, maybe 3,500 milliamp hours in, in this new flagship, especially given the big screen size and the fact they're going away from the modularity. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see that, but fingers crossed for a nice big battery in this new LG phone. So if we can be certain of one thing about the G6, it's that LG is slowly going to trickle out even more information in the weeks ahead. So subscribe, stay tuned, and watch out for what we're doing there. Uh, we'll leave even more on the site as well, androidcentral.com, so stay tuned to that. In the meantime, looking forward to the G6. We'll see how it pans out. I'm out of here. Dropping your phone in the toilet is the worst nightmare. It's the worst nightmare.